Hello guys and welcome back. Today let's go over what weapon customization could look like in Borderlands 3. So from what I gather, I'd consider the community split on this topic. Some people are fine with farming weapons until they get the perfect drop from a boss. And when I say perfect, I'm referring to perfect parts. So the ideal parts that give either the most damage, reload speed, whatever the player is looking for while other players, whether they have bad luck or not as much time to farm, would prefer a way to customize their weapons and get a good weapon without spending tens of hours to farm. So if Gearbox wanted to implement a weapon system, they could take a few different approaches. Number one, they could allow the players to change the parts of the weapons themselves, which would allow the players to obtain the desirable prefix, stats, element, or whatever the player was looking for in the weapon, which could create the perfect weapon with little to no traditional farming. With how the Borderlands franchise can boast having millions of weapons, it's because of all the different weapon parts that they have included in-game that randomly combine to form the weapons when they drop. So if you're able to customize and change in and out the parts to get the ideal weapon, that's how Gearbox could do it. In Borderlands 2, all the parts that could change or spawn were the barrel, stock, sight, accessory, grip, and body. Gearbox could allow the community to change these parts at will, either through breaking down weapons to get materials to then build these parts, or just having to break down the weapon with the desirable part and then transferring it to the weapon you want it to be on. There's a lot of ways they could do this. Obviously, this could be broken very easily depending on what weapons could be created, what parts could be created, and it could almost create the dynamic that a lot of games are having of everyone becoming too strong, the power creep, where levels just gain exponentially, kind of like what we saw at the end of OPA in Borderlands 2. So that's one bad problem, and I'm also not a game developer, but I assume it'd be pretty simple to allow players to change the parts, or at least come up with some sort of system to not be broken and would also effectively teach the casual community about weapon parts in the series because I assume that most of the players don't really know unless you're really in depth. I know Baru, back when he played this game a lot on YouTube, he put up some really awesome guides over on his channel. I'll link all those if you don't even know what weapon parts are, but it's a good beginner's guide to kind of understand what people look for and how prefixes work in the game. So back to the weapon dismantling system, they could do this, they could add materials and or the parts themselves to craft the perfect weapon. This has actually been in a lot of games in the looter shooter genre, but the obvious downside is this could hurt the farming systems in game if materials are easier to farm than the bosses for the weapons themselves. This would also allow players to switch the elements of weapons and could allow for some very strong weapons as I mentioned before. From what I've seen in the community, this for sure is 50-50 split. The hardcore players are fine with farming weapons to find the perfect variant, and we continue to see that in the Borderlands 2 community. While I assume most casual players that don't have as much time wouldn't really mind crafting their own gear to get the perfect variant. The second option that I would say probably is more likely is that Gearbox could implement some form of weapon customization which would allow the sights or visuals of the guns or gear to be changed. So even if, let's say, two players are using the same exact legendary weapon, maybe they could apply their own skins to the weapon that don't change how the gun itself functions, but allow players to show it off when other players are in the party, or just for themselves. The only reason I bring up adding skins to weapons or gear is because Gearbox said they are against predatory microtransactions, but they will most likely have some form of microtransactions along with the DLC for Borderlands 3. In Borderlands 2, they actually did sell skins and heads for the players, if you didn't know that, that were only available through purchasing them for 99 cents a piece, but obviously these weren't really heavily promoted, they didn't change gameplay functions, they were just there to help directly support the development cycle. If Gearbox did want to build upon this model, they could include, along with all the skins and everything they had in-game, they could also have exclusive purchasable skins for weapons and sites that were only available through that method. 
This would not be a pay to win model and wouldn't really add anything but aesthetics to the game. And if we're being honest, I really wouldn't mind if Gearbox had some sort of feature like that in Borderlands 3. They never really pressured us into buying the skins in Borderlands 2, and it is a good way for those with a disposable income to directly support the developers and the series. And also that could create some more customization for the players along with their character, their gear, and the weapons themselves. So no two players are the same, even if you are technically playing the same Vault Hunter using the same gear. You can still make it feel like your own, make it feel just that extra level of depth in Vault Hunter. Something else I want to mention that isn't directly related, but in the Borderlands Online MMO, which I have covered on my channel way back in the day, I'll link that if you guys want to see those. It was a Chinese exclusive MMO, which was not made by Gearbox, but did have the Borderlands license. This included a modified method of weapon customization. This system allowed players to pay money, obviously just money in the game, not real world money, just money you acquire to dismantle their weapons and gear, which then in turn turned into different rarity resources, depending on the rarity of the gear broken down. Then with these resources, players could build random quality weapons depending on the resources used. So if you broke down a lot of legendary weapons, you could then use the legendary material to craft legendary weapons. If you broke down purples, you could create purples, blues, blues, a system very similar to that. And you could kind of choose if you wanted an assault rifle, shotgun, but all the different weapon types and this was just a very bare bones model it was just something to get the players farming and keep it in the game obviously this game didn't really make it super far so we don't know too much how this would have developed but this system isn't really anything new it's very similar to diablo 3 if you've ever broken down materials you can craft weapons that way and it's almost a mix of crafting weapons in Diablo 3 and then also blood shard gambling with Kadala, which is a way, it's just another resource that you gain through playing the game. Then you can gamble for random weapons that can be legendaries or higher. So this isn't anything new to the loot genre, but it would be cool to see Gearbox implement more ways to get loot other than just farming or the occasional world drop or weapon of the day from the vending machine. But obviously, as I said before, that's not directly weapon customization, but it did involve breaking down weapons for parts and then using those parts to craft new weapons. And could be an alternative way to obtain legendaries or gear, which might be a small step forward for Gearbox to start implementing and thinking about actual weapon customization. But let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think Gearbox should add weapon customization that can allow players to change the parts of the guns, prefix, elements, or do you think that's too far and Gearbox should just stick to strict visuals? Like if we want to change the skin of the weapon, maybe even transmog it to look like a different weapon. Let me know all your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.